But about eight years ago, I got an email from a small business owner. And uh, he said, Mike, I do pretty well. I've got a team of 20 people. Last year, I had $2 million in revenue. He said, the problem is I work from 4 in the morning until midnight six days a week. And he said, a year ago, my sister gave me a copy of your book, and she said, look, you're doing well, but you'll never be able to improve because you're a control freak, and you micromanage your team. The best ones leave you every year because they don't want to work for you. And those that are left behind just wait to be told what to do. Nobody takes any ownership. And she says, if you ever want to hope to grow your business, you're going to have to figure out a way to engage your team better. And before you can do that, you need to make the leap from just being a manager to being a leader. And she said, here, read this book. And he told me as he was reading it, it struck him how many hours a day he was spending doing what he called $10 an hour work. The work that his team could have or should have been doing, but they weren't because he refused to let go. And that's like the, the gentleman who stood up and said, you know, he's going to start delegating more so that he can do, you know, the high value work. He told me he went out and bought 20 copies of the book. Every weekend, his team would read a chapter. Every Monday morning, the first thing they did before starting work was to get together and discuss what was in that chapter and ask themselves, are we modeling these behaviors here in our own workplace? And if not, what's keeping us from doing even better? The day he wrote me the email, it had been a year since he finished that project. For the first year ever, he didn't lose one associate, and his revenues doubled from $2 million to $4 million, and he said he, it was because he got out of doing their job, they stepped up to the plate and did it, and it freed him up to do what he called $500 an hour work, like go out and spend more time with his best customers. And to me, that's what leadership is all about. 